Hello beautiful people, my name is Rare Ultra, and welcome back to Minecraft! Woo! In the last episode, we found ourselves a skeleton spawner. And, with finding the skeleton spawner, I decided that we were going to make a, uh, a little XP farm. Not really XP, it's more going to be a skeleton uh, bone meal farm. So I made this, this little track here. Uh, so hopefully we can make it a little easier to get to uh, this farm. It's a little louder, but should still be easier to get to the farm itself. All right. So in today's episode, pretty much what I want to do is I want to... Is there a zombie up here? It can't be. There's no way there's a zombie up here. Hmm, there's one right there. <laughs> Yeah. So in today's episode, pretty much what I want to do is I want to build the area where the zombie, where the skeletons are going to fall into. I've made an infinite water source over here, and I think I want to have them drop right in this area, right here. I'll clear out this infinite water source and everything, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it work, but I'm going to try and make it work. Pretty much the plan is to have them drop about 20 blocks or so. I don't know, either here, you no, know, there's going to be the best option. Uh, so the plan is to make them drop about 20 blocks or so, and then um, they'll land there, so that way we can get a, a final hit on them, uh, so that way, you know, we get it, we get experience and we get bone meal and stuff. I want to set it up that way, so that way we're doing, we've got a good little setup there. Um, but that's pretty much the plan for today, is to get that all built up. And I guess I'm going to mine through this because it caught my attention. But that's what I'm planning to do. I'm planning on building this whole thing uh, so that way we can put a skeleton form in here. What is that? Oh, that's that. Okay. So let's see, if I put it right here, I did not mean to press that button. Right there. Because I'm pretty sure if I put it at 20 blocks, they'll be able to drop straight down into the mine without any kind of issues. So that's my goal, is to send them up 20 blocks and then have them fall down into the mine. So now I'm going to start working on this, and I'm going to start down here, but then I'm going to switch over into a third-person time-lapse. One, two, three. Alright, so after a little while of work, I've got the waterway set up. So this is the elevator that's going to take them up, and then this is where they're going to fall into. So I've got that all set up. Now I'm going to go ahead and get working on clearing out the area for the spawner. So that way it slides over to here. I may have set it a little further than would be smart, but we'll figure it out. I'm not too worried about it. We can get it taken care of. But the idea is I want to do this all in a third person time lapse. So that's what I'm going to try and do. So I'll cut back to you guys once I'm all set up and once I start working on this.
There we go. Ah, sorry, my thing froze for a second. Welcome back, beautiful people. We are done. Although I'm kind of debating on this. I put a slab here. That way they drop and hit the slab. But I don't know if I need the slab. Might be better to just put a block there. Not an andesite block, though. But this seems to be working just fine. I'm going to try doing it with just a block. See if that works. But so far, so good. I mean, we seem to be getting... I mean, we're getting bows. We're getting arrows. We're getting bones. I think this is a success. Yep, seems to work. Yep, that works. All right, cool. I should test one other thing, though. All right. So I wanted to come back here and grab... Let's just grab a wooden sword. I want to see if I can one-hit them even with, like, a lower rank sword, like a weaker sword. So I'm also going to make a uh, stone sword. I ran through pretty much all of my uh, stuff while I was there. All of my iron is gone um, just from crafting this. Uh, so, let me put this over here so you can smell some more gold up. Those are the torches I was using. I'm going to make a stone sword and an iron sword and see if, well, not an iron sword because I, I don't have enough iron to do that. Well, I probably do, but I'm not going to use it on that. But I'm going to make a stone sword. And I want to see if a stone or wood sword will be able to kill them in one shot. If not, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I'd like to at least test it. I'm going to gather some materials together because after this, I'm going to go to the zombie piglin farm that Cypher has made. And I'm going to get some levels. We've made it back over here. Now I just have to wait for more of the skeletons to spawn. So you can see I used ice here to slide them along because they weren't moving. I needed them to move. Here come some skeletons. So now we just wait for them to hit the ground and we see what they what what kind of damage this wooden sword can do. And go. Okay, yeah, a wooden sword can take them out. So this is exactly where the, where we needed them to be. Because they're so low that anything can kill them in one shot. So that's perfect. So now... Now we're gonna go see Cypher. We're gonna go to Cypher's XP farm, the zombie piglin farm, and get some experience. But we don't need to necessarily do that this episode. Pretty much, uh, Rain has gone out and done some farming, some more, and she is telling me that she wants me to use her diamonds. She doesn't have any use for them, she just wants to farm. So the only thing she's asked of me is to every once in a while, is to make her some picks. Uh, so that way she can use those picks to farm more diamonds. Because that's what she likes to do. She doesn't like doing... She, she doesn't like doing a whole lot. So she's just uh, mining. That's what she mainly likes to do. So that's kind of the plan. So I'm going to take some of her diamonds and make myself some diamond gear. I have enough diamonds on mine to make some diamond gear, but I want to get a couple sets of diamond gear. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to take all the diamonds we have and set them into diamond gear and then turn enchant all of the diamond gear. So here's the diamonds that Rain has gotten. She's gotten 58. She works hard. She really, really does. She's a hard worker when she wants to be. Um, so she's just asked that I get her diamonds every once in a while, or get her diamond equipment every once in a while, so that way she can do some, some mining with that. Um, 
So what we're going to do right now is go get the flippin' things that I just put away for no apparent reason. The arrows that I put away for no reason. And I'm going to head into the nether. Now I will take you guys to Cypher's... I'm going to take you guys to Cypher's farm because I don't think I've ever actually showcased Cypher's farm on here. So this is where my nether lets out. We got these nice little lava pillars. And then if we go this way... Uh, looks like somebody's been mining in here some. Somebody's been doing something in here. Interesting. Wait, that was... Aw, oh, somebody took my quartz. That was my quartz. I guess I never actually mined it, so whatever. But still, that was my quartz. That was my nether quartz. That is a nice open hole that somebody just decided to leave there. Work so hard to make everything safe and people just make it more dangerous. Mmm, tisk tisk. Hopefully. See, look, there's just random holes all throughout my... My nether road. And nobody's deconstructed this portal still. It's still here. So if we go this way... This was Cypher's portal before we got him set up on the... Roof of the nether. Which is where he's made his zombie piglin farm. Which is, of course, one of the better places to make a zombie piglin farm. I also don't know if he's finished it yet. Oh, I hear a ghast. Good old ghast. Hopefully there's none on the roof. So right here is where his entrance to the roof of the nether is. And you can already see this big pillar right here. That's his zombie piglin farm. I hear the ghast. Hopefully it's not up here. Hopefully it's down below. Let's see if he's got anything new in here. Oh, he's got iron in here. I steal Cypher stuff every once in a while. I don't think he knows unless he watches these videos, which I don't know if he does. If he does, hi Cypher. <laughs> so you can see the monster appearing in the distance. So he's given full access for anybody to use this. Um, so I'm using it. We, um... We've been trying to progress to a point where we can get like gunpowder and stuff so that way we can start making more holes in the, in the top of the nether so we can make like another highway up here it's gonna take time because we don't currently have the materials needed for that oh yeah there's this too what are you doing up here oh my god you've got to be kidding me not cool not cool. Okay, well, that sucked. I cannot explain why I was just trying to hit him with a bow. So please don't ask. I don't know why I didn't just shoot him, but... I'll catch up with you guys when I get back there. Alright, don't know how well you guys can hear me over the sound of the minecarts. I'm going to actually turn that down a bit because, oh my goodness, where is it? Blocks? Ambient? What would this be the sound of? Ah, it's friendly creatures. I'm just going to turn that completely off. There we go. Alright, I managed to get back up here. I killed him with my sword so it looks like cypher still hasn't added in any mobs that will just constantly get the enemy coming toward us because the biggest problem with his design right now is that they'll eventually stop aggroing because after a certain number of them die they stop caring about you at all but for the most part his design is really good of course, I need to get a bunch more experience now, thanks to that stupid piglin. See? See how they just kind of stopped aggroing me there for a bit? But anyway, this is where I'm going to sit for a little while.
this is where I'm going to sit for a while before the next episode, so that way I can get some experience p piled up, uh, so that way we can do some, we can make some gear and get it enchanted. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode, and we'll focus on enchanting. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button, follow, or uh, comment, subscribe, you know, all the good stuff that YouTubers always ask you to do. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.